So you have $1,000 and you need to know how to invest that $1,000 to be able to make the best return possible. Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Hey guys, my name is Zach. Thanks so much for joining me today. Now, investing $1,000 is a great way to get started. One way that you're able to invest $1,000 is simply by investing in the stock market. You're able to invest in a broad market index fund such as the S&P 500. And by investing in that, you are investing in the top 500 companies in the US and you're banking on the fact that they're going to continue to do well and by investing in an account like that you're going to be investing your money into a, a lot of different stocks all at the same time and that's going to lessen your risk when you're investing in the stock market so that's an option that you can do but let's say for instance that you were investing that thousand dollars and you made the average return of around ten percent you were to make that ten percent return after a year you would have made a hundred dollars now you have $1,100 invested. You could leave that money invested in the stock market, which is how I would suggest doing it. Or you could take that money out of the stock market and then use it for however you want to use it. Let's say you wanted to buy your groceries for a week. Well, if you have two people in your family and you're wanting to buy groceries, well, maybe you could buy your groceries for a week with $100. Or maybe you could buy gas in your car for a couple weeks or a month with $100. You know, maybe there's a couple different options, but that hundred dollars isn't actually going to go that far. And that's why this first way of investing is a great way to invest for the long term. It's great if you leave that money in, but when it comes to the short term and being able to get the most out of that thousand dollars, you may not be able to get as much as you'd like out of that thousand dollars if you are investing it in the stock market. And so, what are some other options well option number two is investing that money in yourself instead now if you're enjoying this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future content now investing in yourself is something that you're able to do a lot of different things when it comes to this but for instance let's say you wanted to become a real estate agent so you wanted to go get your real estate license so let's say you spent that thousand dollars to get that real estate license and if you were to just sell one house over the next year with that real estate license, you would easily be able to pay for that $1,000 payment for getting that real estate license. Typically, your paycheck from selling a normal $150,000 house should be a few thousand dollars on that sale. So if you were to do that and you were to do that a couple times over the course of a full year, now you have tripled, you have five x your money or more easily just by investing in something that is able to give you a lot more back than just the stock market would. Think also of a course. Let's say your job has different certifications that you can take and let's say they say, okay, if you take this certification over here, you'll be able to increase your money by X amount. Well, then that would enable you to be able to get that much more money just for investing in yourself and getting that certification. And if you stay with that job or a similar job, then it would enable you to continue to make that much more money every single year uh, as you're in that same career. And so that could be of benefit to you as well. Or you could even invest a thousand dollars in books or programs so this is something where maybe there's an online program that's going to teach you how to do internet marketing or email marketing or something along those lines whatever you're interested in you could take a course in it and if it's able to help you make more money maybe that could be worthwhile or a book, maybe you're wanting to buy some books to be able to help you understand how to deal with your finances better, how to invest during recessionary times like we're in now, or how to really just build wealth. And if you were to buy a few books like that, maybe even just five books like that, it wouldn't cost you $1,000, but that could be a great return on your money just by having done that because now you're able to take that knowledge that you have and knowledge is power and it's going to enable you to be able to then take that knowledge and gain more money by doing that. 
Now you could also just take that $1,000, you could invest it in some sort of side hustle or business that you've started. So there's a number of different options for that. They're all over the internet, all over YouTube in regards to what you can do. But let's say for instance, you started a print on demand business. Now this is a business where if someone were to come to your listing, you can do this on Amazon. And so you put a listing up with your graphic, someone comes, buys that t-shirt, buys that hoodie, and you get a portion of the profits from Amazon and you didn't have to ship the product, you didn't have to make the product or any of the things above. And you can do a similar thing with Etsy. And so a lot of people on YouTube do talk about how you can find success doing that if you do that consistently over time and get better and better with it. You could invest that thousand dollars in a ghost writing business and that's one where you are writing um, a book and you're putting it on Amazon but you're not actually writing the book yourself. You are buying the rights to a book that someone else writes for you and then by doing that you're able to then list that product on Amazon and people People could buy that product and then you can make money from it. There's a number of different ways to make money online. It's something that if that's of interest to you, you can look into different options on YouTube in regards to how that might work. Now I'll list some of those options down below if you choose to do any of those and people who talk about how to do that. And I know for myself, I would invest a thousand dollars into my business and into learning new skills to be able to help me develop myself and get better with with what, I'm, what my craft is. And so that's how I would invest $1,000. Tell me down in the comments below, how would you choose to invest $1,000 and are you investing right now? Now, if you enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.